Okay, everybody. Hey, it's 930. And um, whether you're watching live on Zoom or you're watching on Facebook Live, welcome. Uh, my name's Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. Uh, my question for you is, why are you here today? I'll bet it's because you want to make more money. So in the chat box, make sure that you let me know the struggles that you're having with marketing. Go ahead and ask me questions, okay? Uh, once again, my name is Ken Countess. I've been known of one of, as one of Constant Contact's top partners in the world for over five years. I've been their top trainer worldwide. And for the last 19 years, I've been helping businesses of all kinds grow with digital marketing. Uh, prior to being a Constant Contact partner and an independent consultant, I was a senior marketing executive at three Fortune 100 companies. Uh, now I'm managing director of the Countess Group. We represent quite a few companies, all of them with the goal of helping you become a better marketer. We are a full-service marketing consultancy, uh, so if you need help with strategic marketing, executive coaching, workshops, email, social media, whatever it is related to marketing, uh, we can help you. So today's topic, and this is part of our daily training series that we actually are just starting today. Today's the inaugural 30-minute uh, class. Uh, we'll be doing this the same time every morning, 9.30 Eastern. Uh, that's uh, 6.30 Pacific, and of course you can make adjustments along the way. So today's topic is email marketing. Uh, I mentioned Constant Contact. I've been one of their top trainers for quite some time. Uh, so you're bound to learn something this morning. Why are we focusing on email? It's because email works everywhere. Everywhere. Not everybody has access to websites when they're on the go. Not everybody is checking their social media all the time. But when you think about email, people are checking it every day, every day. In fact, 99% of us are checking our email every day. We can't live without it. And as far as marketing tools go, it develops and uh, presents the highest return on investment, that's ROI, the highest ROI of any marketing tool out there. It's three times the return of social media. And in a recent study, 77% of people said that they preferred to be marketed to with email marketing. All right, so that's all I'm going to do at this point in terms of just setting the stage for you. Let's go ahead and do a live demo. Let me show you how simple it is to create an email, and particularly in this environment. You know, I'm doing these classes because so many people are challenged. We're all challenged to do things differently than we've done before. Um, the coronavirus, COVID-19, outbreak, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, it's serious and it's impacting us as business owners and as marketers. And for those of us who are not accustomed to being marketers every day, um, this is one way for you to kind of get your arms around how you can market your business more effectively. <clears throat> All right, so let me switch screens and we'll do a quick demo on how you can create uh, an email quickly and simply. <clears throat> All right, so hang with me here for just a moment. And let me go to this screen. And uh, what this is here is I have logged into my personal test Constant Contact account. Uh, let me see if we can uh, share this one with you. Uh, let's see, is this, uh, is this showing? Okay, let's see if this works. I think it is, good. All right, so I have logged into my own Constant Contact account. Uh, this is a test account. This isn't the one I use every day. Uh, you can see here that it says I've got 187 contacts. In my real account, it's closer to 6,000. But, you know, that brings up a point, and that point is that if you're just starting out, if you haven't used email before, it's not a matter of how big your list is. I have a lot of people who say to me, uh, I'm not ready to start yet. I don't have a big enough list. It's not about having a big enough list. 
What it is about is getting to the people who you already know, uh, the people that maybe are in your Gmail account, maybe people you've met at a Chamber of Commerce event, maybe you uh, go to Rotary, maybe you're a member of a nonprofit. Well, along the way, you're probably collecting email addresses, business cards, you're emailing back and forth to people. And whether you have five people, 50 people, 500 people, 5,000 people, it's not about the number of people that you have. It's the quality of the list. And who would love to hear from you better than people you already know? So if you are a member of a Chamber of Commerce, don't be shy. Let them know what you do. When we go to chamber meetings, and I'm a member of the Seminole County, uh, Florida Chamber of Commerce, you know, we see each other a lot, but then we get back to business. And so for the most part, it's out of sight, out of mind. But now knowing that people are always checking their inbox, how good would it be for you to pop into somebody's inbox with some educational information? Help them know how to run their business better. Maybe you have a service that will allow them to make more money. All right, so with that as a backdrop, let's go ahead and create an email. I'm clicking the uh, Create Email button, or Create button, uh, and we'll just very quickly do an email. And it doesn't matter what service you use, whether it's Constant Contact or MailChimp or HubSpot or Aweber or Keep. It doesn't matter. Most of these services offer you a way to uh, make an email uh, very quickly. They have templates that are already created that you can customize any way you like. These are the templates that Constant Contact has created, and you can swap anything out that you like. So I'm doing this live, as you see. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very, very simple email template. Um, let me use this one, for example. It says basic newsletter, if you can see that. Uh, so I'm going to click that one. I'll select that uh, and, and use that to create an email. All right, so, um, so the system, you know, and again, it doesn't matter which of these services you use. They all work pretty much the same way. I personally like Constant Contact. I've been using it a long time. It's like any other kind of software. If you're used to using um, Google Sheets for your documents instead of Microsoft Word, you know, there are a few differences, but by and large, they operate pretty much the same way. So same thing with um, email marketing. I'm going to rename this one um, today's date and I'll just call it test. All right, and so I'll save that, and as you can see, it's changed the name up here. So um, as it's as simple as taking these placeholders that have already been created, and uh, let's say I want to edit this one placeholder and just simply put in my logo. All right, I've already uploaded that just for the sake of expediency. Um, and maybe here we say, uh, news you can use today. All right, and that's it. Uh, by the way, the system will also uh, give you some quick tips on how you might think about creating an email that's right for your business. You absolutely want people to have a call to action. Every email you send should be encouraging people to do something that will drive traffic to your website or to some resource or if you have an online store to your online shopping cart. Uh, for this example, what I'm going to do is very simply change the color of this button. Uh, let's make it blue instead. Uh, let's change the size of the text. Uh, instead of 14 point, let's make it 20 point and let's make it bold. And um, let's make, uh, let's set up a link to our website. So www.thecountess, oops, I'm not a very good typist, thecountessgroup.com. And we'll just insert that. 
and that part of it is done. All right. Uh, so let's say that we have a special product offering or a special service offering. Uh, this placeholder says uh, upcoming events. By the way, if there's too much here that we don't want to use, we can just take that section out just like that. All right, so let's take out the pieces we don't want. Um, let's put a um, another picture in here. Maybe we've got a restaurant. Oh, this is a good one to use. Let's use Jack's Barbecue. And the reason that I'm doing that during this class is for this reason. Most restaurants these days have been ordered to close down. Close down in terms of on-site seating. But what, for example, if you were a restaurant, what if you, instead of having on-site seating, which we can't do right now, what if you had takeout service? So let's, uh, let's make this service spotlight new service takeout. Okay, and uh, so now here we might change um, and we say due to the coronavirus, we can't provide seating, but you can visit us for takeout, okay? And then we can uh, have that link to a website. And so we'll put in here www.jacks, oops, okay? jacksbarbecue.com. Uh, and by the way, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take that URL. Uh, let's uh, let me actually rename this. Let's say visit us online. Okay, so you see that's changed. And I'm going to take that link that I just created and I'm going to place it right here. All right. And um, I'm, and at this point, just to keep things very, very simple and keep us on track time-wise, uh, that's our entire email. So um, I noticed that I've uh, misspelled this. I should have checked that. And I'm going to change the size of the text to um, 16 point. All right? Uh, now, this is an email that's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to take this piece out, too. We can change this to uh, a new subject line, new, or maybe we'll make this come see us for takeout. And we'll leave this pre-header right here. Okay. So when we're done, when we have everything all good to go, we can have the system, number one, allow us to preview the way that email will look, uh, if I were looking at it on a desktop device, I can also test the URL, which I, I didn't do yet, but let's go ahead and do that. And as you could see, it is taking us to the website that I plugged in here. Uh, I'll go back here to uh, visit us online. Now, I, I'm not sure I remembered uh, Jack's Barbecue's uh, correct URL, but actually, there we go, Jack's Barbecue. And uh, we can make sure the other uh, link works as well. All right, so we know this is good to go. Uh, this is what it looks like on, if I were looking at it on a desktop device. This is what it would look like on a mobile device. So you can easily see how well your email will look no matter what kind of device it's viewed on. Now, here's the important thing about this. Um, we want to make sure that because we know that most people are checking their email on a mobile device and most people will not scroll, we want to be sure that our call to action, the action we want them to take, is clearly visible as soon as they open our email in their inbox. All right, so as you can see here, we've actually got 
a couple of calls to action ready to go. Once we know that our email is set, we can simply go to the continue area and we can pick the list that we would like them to join, uh, to, uh, sorry, select the list that we want to send it to. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say we're going to send it to two customers. Again, this is a, a test account. Uh, we're going to schedule it to go out later today. Uh, this is uh, March 23rd. So we'll schedule it to go out at 11 o'clock this morning. We click Schedule. And uh, as you can see here, the email is scheduled to go at 11 o'clock this morning. We also can schedule posts. We can post this on our social media. We can create an ad uh, to accompany it. And we can schedule the ad to run uh, for as long as or, or as short as we'd like. All right, so that's, those are the basics, very basics, on how to create an email that will work for you. So uh, let's go back to the, uh, the other slide that I was showing you. Uh, let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint slideshow. This is where we left off. And uh, so let me go back to the other uh, slides here. All right, so that was a very quick live demo. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, give me a buzz. Uh, your next step is to uh, simply sign up if you're not using an email marketing service. You can actually sign up for a free trial of Constant Contact. There's no credit card needed. Um, you can use the free trial for 60 days with no credit card. You, you must use this URL, bit.ly slash completely free trial. And when you do that, uh, that will tie your new account to us. We'll provide you with some free training. We'll help you create a free template that you can use again and again and again. We'll help you upload your first list free. We'll provide personal training to get you started free. So once again, use this special URL. It's bit.ly slash completely free trial. Hey, thanks for joining me. My name's Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. And uh, here's where you can find us. We're all over the web. Uh, you can find us, uh, of course, at our website, thecountessgroup.com. You can find us also on Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. We've got a YouTube channel with about 100 videos there. Uh, you can check us out and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. We help businesses like yours gain an unfair advantage over your competition with targeted marketing. And we can coach you or we can do it for you. Um, if you'd like some help on your own, you can check out our email academy. It's online. It's bit.ly slash emm academy. If you'd like a free consultation, uh, go to bit.ly slash meetwithken and put dashes in between those words. So um, I'm very happy to uh, meet with you by phone. Uh, we can do a video call. Uh, so it's bit.ly slash meetwithken. All right, our next workshops, uh, uh, we have them all the time. We're doing uh, these training sessions every single morning um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, or you can sign up for our next workshops on site, seminars, webinars, whatever you like. Okay? So I do hope that you'll take advantage of that. Um, just give me a call at 407-242-4200. Hey, thanks for attending today's short class. Visit us on the web at thecountessgroup.com. And don't forget, sign up today if you're not using email marketing go ahead and sign up for that free trial. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you'll join me again sometime in the near future, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.